coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. DJI introduces Mavic Air. Multi-GP says regional series races. And new Harrier parachute launcher designed for drones. Hello, I'm Lara Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. DJI has introduced the Mavic Air, inheriting the best features of DJI's Mavic with a 4K camera new quickshot modes, smart capture, and flight autonomy 2.0 with advanced pilot assistance systems. Just 430 grams, the Mavic Air's folding arms and propellers sit flush against its frame, so that its footprint is nearly the size of a modern smartphone when folded. A recessed three-axis mechanical gimbal is suspended from dampeners to further reduce vibrations. The camera houses a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor and the equivalent of a 24 mm f2.8 lens. Mavic Air photographs 12 megapixel still images and shoots stabilized 4K video at 30 frames per second, with a maximum bit rate of 100 megabytes per second. It also has the ability to shoot 1080p slow motion video at 120 frames per second. Mavic Air is DJI's first drone with 8GB of onboard storage, plus a microSD card slot and a USB-C port. Three colors are available, Onx Black, Arctic White, and Flame Red. Pricing including drone battery remote controller, carrying case, two pairs of propeller guards, and four pairs of propellers is $799. The Mavic Air Fly More combo includes the drone, three batteries, a remote controller, a travel bag, two pairs of propeller guards, six pairs of propellers, a battery to power bank adapter, and a battery charging hub for $999. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Lifeguards from the Australian Lifeguard Service were training with UAV equipment that is part of the government's $16 million shark mitigation strategy when a call came through of two distressed swimmers. Last week, Lifeguard Supervisor Jay Sheridan, the 2017 NSW Lifeguard of the Year, was piloting the UAV at the time, immediately responded, and was able to locate the swimmers within minutes of the initial alert. The pair were fortunately unharmed. Drone regulations in Thailand include altitude restrictions, insurance requirements, and a prohibition against flying in some areas like near government buildings. But they are serious about registration. Failure to register a personal drone is punishable by a fine of about $3,100 or up to five years in prison. Thai officials estimate that there were some 50,000 drones in private hands in the country, with only some 350 of them registered. Another day, another possible drone ban. This time, it's the city of Rio Rancho in New Mexico that is looking into at least a partial ban on UAVs, citing complaints about privacy. The Rio Rancho City Council gave initial consideration to changes in its public nuisance policy at its meeting last week. One member of the council said they have received multiple complaints from women who say drones are hovering outside their windows. The law firm of Kessler, Topaz, Meltzer & Check LLP announces that a shareholder class action lawsuit has been filed against GoPro on behalf of purchasers of the company's securities between November 2, 2017 and January 5, 2018 inclusive. Investors who purchased GoPro securities during the class period may no later than March 12, 2018, seek to be appointed as a lead plaintiff representative of the class. A lot of you were interested in the piece we did a few weeks ago about the Fat Shark 101 drone training system. Well, we now have one in our hot little hands, and the company German Shepherd is nervous. 
The company cat is in hiding, and the rest are ready to duck for cover because we have a feeling that A and N CEO Jim Campbell may get first crack at this thing. No matter what, the review should be very interesting. Stay tuned. That was our drone minute. Now back to the rest of the news. MultiGP has announced the 2018 regional series for the U.S., and there have been some major changes put in place for the season. MultiGP will be lowering the heat times in 2018 from 2 minutes to a minute 30. The reasoning is that many pilots are currently exhausting batteries almost to the point of damage in order to run 2-minute heats. Lowering the heat times to a minute 30 will increase competition and also increase the longevity of our pilots' equipment. The current number of regions will be restructured. The U.S. will now consist of six major regions, Northwest, North Central, Northeast, Southwest, South Central, and Southeast. The 2018 Regional Series will also use a new regional qualification system. At the beginning of the 2018 Series, pilots that are interested in competing will have to declare a region that they will be participating in. All of the pilot's qualifying attempts must take place in this region. A pilot does not have to live in the region they choose to compete in, but they must compete in the region they chose for the entire season. Pilots are not limited in the amount of regional qualifiers they can compete in within their region. California-based Fruity Shoots has introduced the Harrier Drone Parachute Launcher, a small spring-loaded parachute for fixed-wing drones and small multicopters. The company says the core design objectives for the Harrier launcher were lightweight, compact, ease of use, and reliability. The Harrier features a thin wall carbon fiber canister, lightweight nylon component, and a high energy compression spring. Because the new launcher needed to be as compact and light as possible, a new line of parachutes called the Iris Ultra Zero were designed for the project. The IFC 30 SUZ parachute weighs just 27.7 grams and is rated at 1.25 kilograms at 4.6 meters per second. Currently, the Iris Ultra Zero parachute is only available with a Harrier launcher. The complete 40 millimeter Harrier with a IFC 30 SUZ parachute weighs just 81 grams and is only 103 millimeters long. Fruity Shoots is currently offering three sizes, but plans to grow the product line to include many sizes and diameters. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes, covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.